Sacrifice uh, and the idea of sacrifice uh, has social and why not political consequences in a society. So teaching sacrifice helps also the society uh, to progress on the fields of social justice, democracy, religious freedom and any kind of freedom. We were talking about global warming all these last years, but we are not talking about warming anymore. We are talking about burning. The planet is burning, which is dangerous. We need to reevaluate our behavior against the environment and to, so, to, to ask for some support from all uh, parts of the society, from churches, from scientists, uh, universities to face this global warming and this uh, uh, pollution of the environment. Uh, and I'm very proud to say that uh, Ecumenical Patriarch, because of his initiatives, is already registered in the history of humanity as the Green Patriarch. The idea of renewal and modernization in the Orthodox Church uh, is central, but it is happening in the Orthodox Church in a way which is different than it happens in the Western societies. Uh, in West, uh, we have the so-called Reformation. The Church is reformed. In our Church, we follow the changes of the society with a certain uh, sense of delay because by definition religions and churches and religious institutions are very conservative and resistant to any change. But when people change, church changes. This uh, environment, religious environment, is the accumulation of uh, the experience of centuries practicing our faith. So this uh, experience is useful for everyone. Uh, just to face and to address their faith in a way that could be constructive for the society and for the physical and, of course, uh, spiritual balance. In Greece, uh, uh, church still has a dominant role. If not church as an institution, but faith, uh, as a belief that is deeply rooted in the heart, in the mind, in the soul of the Greek people. I don't think that any, uh, any event can shake that faith. <laughs>